Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 5 of season 2 of the NPCC. This week we're having our first cross division game. Yes, that's right, me of the Sun Division. I am against the Fearless Fero in the Moon Division, um, and he is the El Edo Drios, I believe. So, two LA teams in a row. Last week we beat the LA Landorus. This week we're against the LA Do. Drio, do duos, what, do, do drios. Did I say do duos? I think I did. I think it's do drio. Anyway, um, I'll give myself a bit more time to give a brisk overview of my team. Um, firstly, we have specially biased Manaphy with U turn, Scald, Ice Beam, and Energy Ball. However, Ice Beam is pretty much useless this game, which is a uh, shame. Uh, specially defensive uh, Skarmory with Iron Head, Rock Tomb, Roost, and. I think it's Stealth Rock, yeah Stealth Rock, um, and Rock Tomb is there just to slow things down basically, uh, also lets me do damage to Rotom Heat and slows down the Sneasel and the Cell Wall, which could have been problems with my Mega Sceptile. Uh, then we have uh, Special Offensive Bolt Switching Jolteon obviously to try and uh, get some Bolt Switch shenanigans, obviously he does have the Dom Fan, but we've got the Hidden Power to deal with that thing, he also has the Vaporeon and you know Volt Switch is just nice otherwise. Then next we have uh, Entei with Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Stone Edge, and Toxic. Toxic is for the obvious Vaporeon switch-ins. Um, next up we have Fully Physical Mega Sceptile, which is Leaf Blade, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. And then finally we have Physically Defensive Coffer Grigus, um, with Hidden Power Rock, Shadow Ball, Pain Split, Willow. So that was pretty much there for the Mien Xiao and for the Staraptor, both of which could do some serious damage to my team, especially Staraptor, because what the heck is switch into a Staraptor? Apart from apparently, I obviously have a switch into Staraptor, which is um, Cofagrigus. So, as you can see, he's got the Mega Diancy, Jirachi, Vaporeon, Sneasel, Rotom Heat, and Domfan. Pretty much the team I expected. Uh, Staraptor could have come in over any of their places. Rotom Heat was pretty much a dead cert, as was Domfan. Otherwise, I was pretty. Uh, I wasn't sure if he was going to bring Diancy. Um, because I didn't bring Metagross. So I originally had it in for uh, Manaphy, and I'm quite glad I swapped it in the end. So. Turn 1 I overpredict apparently, um, my opponent decides to stay in with his Dom fan. I could have clicked Energy Ball, uh, predicting the switch into Vaporeon, I could have clicked Scald and potentially killed this thing in 1 because obviously it does get the Sturdy, but the burn could have happened and taken this thing down, so this thing is going to be around and make itself a bit more of an issue than it could have actually ever been. Um, which is a shame, but he does get his rocks up which confirms he is probably going to be physically defensive and he's definitely not AV. So in comes my... Uh, Thingy. Cofagrigus is the one. I click Will O Wisp, the one thing which can't get burned. He brings in, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I didn't really think I. Well, I don't really have a switch into this thing. Um, so I just kind of thought I'd stay in. Although I did expect him to go for Volt Switch. Uh, and I Pain Split and actually do more damage to myself than I do him. Because I do nothing to him. So that's a good start. Um, anyway, I do get my leftovers. I am now burnt. And I still don't really have a switch in. I mean, I could predict the electric move, but. If I bring in my Jolteon, he's then just going to click Overheat, and I can't do anything in return to this room Heat. So I'm going to let him just Shadow, uh, shadow Ball. I'm going to let him Volt Switch out. As uh, he brings in Sneasel, which is very, very risky. Because if I'd have gone for the Will O Wisp expecting that, this Sneasel will be a lot less problematic. So now I have a big call to make. I know if he goes for Knockoff, I'm pretty much dead. Uh, if he goes for Pursuit, I can live. Um, it also gives me switch initiative, so I kind of think, right, I'm, I'm going to switch. He's probably going to go for the Pursuit. I could have get, again have stayed in and gone for the will o but because Cofagrigus is super bulky, um, we can actually live that, and like I said, we do get our switch in. And uh, we find out this is Life Orb Sneasel, which is slightly problematic, because Ice Shard, you know, with this thing around, I can't really do lots of dangerous stuff with uh, Sceptile. Turns out I could have probably actually bought Quick Attack over Dragon Claw this game, which could have helped to maybe a little bit later on in the game. Um, but we'll get to it. So I bring in Skarmory, which is just safe. He goes for Knock Off, which is risky. I clicked. I mean, I could have just clicked Iron Head and killed that Sneasel there and then pretty much. Um, but I clicked Stealth Rocks because I honestly didn't think he was going to stay in. And while his Diancy hasn't got Magic Bounce, you know, it's 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 nice to just get your Stealth Rocks up. I know he has Dom Fan around, so uh, baiting that thing back out would be nice. Uh, I'm going to use this turn to Roost because I was very confident that he wasn't going to stay in and he can't kill me unless he gets a crit, probably, so... 
Uh, I'm gonna roost up. I need this thing as healthy as possible, as you will see later on. So I'm pretty much at max health now. I haven't got my leftovers, but that's not a problem. I'd rather have this knocked off than anything else because it can heal itself. So uh, I do switch out here because I can't touch this Dom fan. Iron Head and Rock Two, my only offensive moves. Uh, so I did bring in Little Blue because I'm fully expecting him to go for the Rapid Spin. I could have and probably should have, honestly. Uh, gone into Kofagrigus to block the spin. I mean, I'm pretty sure Kofagrigus dies to rocks now and I don't have any way of removing it. So it would have prevented the rapid spin and then I could have bought Manaphy in, but uh, he would have been at full health, I believe. So I wouldn't have been able to kill him and he would probably be guaranteed a rapid spin still. So I click Energy Ball here because it's going to do super effective damage and uh, I was honestly expecting a Vaporeon switch in. He does not do that. He stays in and clicks EQ and that does just under a half to Manaphy and after leftovers we're back over half, so about 40% maybe. Now I'm very much expecting him to switch into Jirachi at this point um, because it switches in and I'm fully expecting it to be Choice Scarf Jirachi because that's exactly what my opponent bought last week because, you know, it it's, it's, does pretty well against Mega Sceptile, so. I click U-turn and he stays in. I could have killed this Donphan, but again... I overplay and it stays in, so now I have to sacrifice my uh, old man Tut, which isn't the worst thing in the world, uh, but we do go down to an early 6-5 disadvantage, so that's never fun, um, and this Donphan is just kind of chilling uh, at about 30% maybe, and I've done my calcs and I'm like, right, Shadow Ball will kill this thing now, and I'm going to click Shadow Ball expecting him to go into his Jirachi. Um, which he doesn't do. He makes the play which I didn't even consider. I don't know why. He goes into Rotom Heat. Um, so Shadow Ball is going to do literally like 15% maybe. I don't know if this is specially defensive. I'm pretty sure it is specially defensive Rotom Heat. Um, but I'm going to Volt Switch out because, you know, keeping this thing around would be nice for the Vaporeon. I do have my physically defensive... Sceptile, uh, physically defensive, physically offensive Sceptile, but I'm pretty sure it's a specially defensive Vaporeon, so I'm thinking Leaf Blade would do good damage to that. I bring in Entei because, well, I was honestly expecting this thing, well, he had to go for a fire move, Will-O-Wisp or Overheat, um, and it doesn't affect Entei, which is awesome. So now I have Entei in, I can pretty much go for a Stone Edge. Also, he thinks I will. I'm actually going to click Toxic here because he can't really do too much to me other than Volt Switch or Thunderbolt, which is quite a lot actually um, but I'm very much expecting him to go into Vaporeon and while the again while the Diancie isn't mega evolved I can just do toxic as much as I like so toxicing this Vaporeon is awesome it might have heal well but that does give me a turn to either get free damage off on it or a switch and gain momentum so not such a bad position after all so the the toxic was really nice to get so now I'm gonna have to switch and I'm not sure if he's going to go for a Scald or not. I don't know if he's got a Heal Bell. If he does, he might reveal it. He might go for a Wish and try and heal up some Mons. So, he might try and heal up Domphan anyway. Especially as I have Jolteon in now. So, uh, he does go for Scald. I have quite a lot of Special Defense investment because I purely didn't need the Speed investment this week. Um, the only thing I had to try and outspeed was Sneasel because I can't outspeed Excel Ball anyway. So, I am going to just click Thunderbolt. There's no reason not to. Um... Because if he brings in Donphan, I will just click Hidden Power Ice. I will just make the straight up obvious play next time. I mean, it's not obvious I have it because last time I clicked Shadow Ball. Um, so he might expect to be able to live a uh, a Shadow Ball this turn. But I do, in fact, just have the Expert Bell uh, Hidden Power Ice. He goes for Ice Shard and I will live that because Ice Shard is not Stab and it's not strong. And we could go off for, sorry, we get off a Hidden Power Ice and Donphan goes down. So we're now at 5-5, five, five, but Manaphy's at half health. Jolteon's pretty much dead, so we are in a pretty sticky situation. So in comes Pinky the uh, Sneasel, and I don't have my rocks up anymore because Donphan did manage to get a rapid spin off earlier on in the game, so this is my chance to pretty much get my rocks up now. Um, Skarmory's a very sweat, very safe switch into this thing now, uh, purely because he knocked me off already, it won't be doing much damage, he's losing life orb, uh, obviously I can hit him super effective and kill him at this range, even without any attack investment, I sneeze is that frail. Um, but I do want to get my rocks up because he still has sneeze all week to rocks. He still has this thing week to rocks. This thing only has leftovers as recovery. So if I can get Manaphy in on this thing, it's forcing switches. This thing is going to be around for much longer. So I could have rock tuned there expecting this. 
but that's not really going to do me any uh, good at this point in the game. Uh, I am going to switch out into Jolteon and sack it off, just in case he wanted to go for an electric type move, uh, but he doesn't use the overheat, which is perfect, because it gives me a free switch into my uh, Entei. And the way I bring it in pretty much confirms I have Stone Edge. I mean, why wouldn't I have Stone Edge? It's my best option to hit Vaporeon. It's super effective against Rotom Heat. Uh, my Entei is kind of a free switch in to the uh, Diancy. Purely because I don't have Iron Head. I couldn't fit Iron Head on. Otherwise, Vaporeon just straight up stops me. So, uh, I do bring this thing in, and I'm going to go for Stone Edge, because even if it's physically defensive Vaporeon, it's going to be doing nice damage along with Toxic and Stealth Rocks, um, and that is exactly what comes in. He could have bought in the Diancy there, to be honest. It would have been a safe switch into Mega Diancy. It would have made things a lot easier for him. Um, but he decides to go straight into Vaporeon, which is cool. Um, I don't think... He couldn't have been expecting Fire Move. This must be his best thing for it. Now fan has gone. And I guess he probably didn't want to risk the fact that, you know, if I did go for Sacred Fire, his Diancy would get burnt. Because Diamond Storm wouldn't do anything then. So, uh, I can't stay in Stone Edge, won't kill unless I get a crit, and I don't want to take a school. Now, this is a pivotal turn. I, I had to risk this switch. I was either... He was either going to go for a Wish, or if he goes for school, I just have to pray to God he doesn't get the burn. If he got the burn, I lose. If he doesn't get the burn... If he does, sorry, if I don't get burned, I have a very good chance now. Because I can Mega Evolve my Sceptile for free. And this was my only opportunity to get my Sceptile to Mega Evolve now. Because if he had his Diancy Mega Evolve before I Mega Evolve my Sceptile, he'd outspeed me. And Jirachi is Scarfed, so I can't do that unless he locks himself into an electric move. So I had to go for this. He doesn't protect, which means he probably doesn't even have it. I go for Leaf Blade, and this thing is dead, even if it's physically defensive, it was going to die. And that thing goes down, so physically offensive Mega Sceptile is doing work yet again. Now, in comes the Jirachi, that screams. Ice Punch. Scarf. It's one I faced last time, it's one I'm probably facing again. So, I'm going to Lil Blue, because Lil Blue is probably the most expendable thing to me now. Now I have my Mega Evolution up. I outspeed everything on his team, other than Sneasel's Ice Shard, so if I can get rid of Sneasel, that's fantastic. Uh, he goes for Hidden Power Ice, though, which is... It just made me, just like, my the grin on my face was, like, huge, because it makes things so much easier for me to deal with, knowing this thing is special and it's Choice Scarf. So in comes the Rotom Heat, I'm just going to go straight for Scald. There is absolutely ro no, ro no reason for me not to. Burning anything would be nice. Uh, that's about 60%, maybe? This Rotom Heat is definitely specially defensive, otherwise it would have done more. I am max special attack. But uh, if he wants to... S I mean, he hasn't got a switch in for this uh, man if he's Scald anymore. He has Sneasel, which will die to rocks and Scald. He has Diancy, which will not appreciate it. And uh, he has... What was his other mon? What else does he have in there? Oh, Jirachi, which, uh, while special, still wouldn't like a burn. So we're now at free all, I believe. Manaphy's... Oh, no, I still have Entei left. Um... In comes Pinky. Now, I kind of think Manaphy at this point is probably the least expendable thing, or the most expendable thing, sorry. Um, he does go for the knockoff, and I'm pretty sure it does take out Manaphy, because I'm not physically defensive. I am offensive. Um, and this thing is now in range to the point where he goes, uh, if he switches, he dies to Stealth Rock, and I make it. At the point, I was like, oh, I've, j I've just choked. I mean, I'm, I've been at disadvantage pretty much the whole game. And now I've, I've pretty much choked this away, uh, I, I thought. Uh, he goes for Ice Shard, though. Uh, I clicked Sacred Fire because I thought Extreme Speed is too obvious. It's such a free switch into Diancy. If I'm going to hit this Diancy, I'm at least going to try and get a burn on it. So, the Sneasel goes down, which is fine. And now in comes the Diancy. So... I've already played my Sceptile Risky in the fact that I didn't get burnt from a Scald from the Vaporeon. That was huge. Now I'm expecting him to protect here because I outspeed him and if I have Iron Head, this thing just dies. So I'm really, really expecting him to pl click Protect. It's that or Diamond Storm. He doesn't know if I have Iron Head yet. I haven't revealed it. I have Stone Edge, Toxic, uh, Extreme... I mean, he doesn't know if I have Extreme Speed yet. Or Sacred Fire for that matter. Um, so he does Mega Evolve. When I get switched into my Sceptile, and here I'm just hoping he clicks Protect, click Protect, click Protect. He clicks Protect. 
And at this point, it's a roll. This is a roll. If this roll had not gone my way, this would have been a lot harder. But his Diancy goes down to the Earthquake. Leaf Blade is a guaranteed one to hit KO. But I didn't want to play games with that Jirachi around. And now all he has is Scarf Jirachi. He has to lock into himself into something again. This is a repeat of exactly what happened last week now. He goes for Hidden Power Ice. I'm happy to let Sceptile die at this point. Because him knowing that he's locked himself into Hidden Power Ice means I ha can go into either my... Uh, I have Entei left? Do I have Entei left? Yeah, I have Entei left. Uh, and I have Skarmory left. Now, I mentioned I have Rock Tomb on this thing. And this was one of the main reasons why. He's locked into um, his Hidden Power Ice. I can Rock Tomb to lower the speed. So he is now at... I'm assuming he's Jolly. He's just normal speed, but max speed. I had to click Roost here. I mean, I just... I win. As long as you... Well, I don't, even a crit wouldn't have killed me there. Uh, I Roost up. And I can Rock Tomb to the point where I actually outspeed this thing. I have Iron Head so I can play Jirachi's own game and flinch him. And Hidden Power Ice will also be a resisted hit when I Roost. Um, which is lovely because, you know, still resist Ice. So I'm going to Roost again to get myself up to max health. Just to pretty much secure the win for me. Because this Jirachi can't do anything. If this was Expert Belt, I mean, it wouldn't matter too much because, you know... Uh, Sceptile's Earthquake would have done a lot of damage. And then I could um, Iron Head, and then I could Extreme Speed, and it would probably take this thing out. But this uh, guy's now at minus one speed, effectively, with the Choice Scarf on. Uh, I still don't know if Entei can outspeed it, though. Beca no, I think Entei can outspeed at this point, because I'm not fully speed invested. I just went for a third one to make sure. Plus, it also helps if I outspeed with Skarmory, which I now do. I clicked Roost, and I was like, wait. What in during the game I was like, wait, is he how am I going first? And I was like, oh yeah, I've got three uh, rock tombs off. So I'm actually outspeeding this thing now, which means hidden power ice literally does nothing. 15 damage. Um and I can now play Jirachi at its own game. I can just click Iron Head, which does about 10% each time. Going for them flinches, he I don't get the flinch. It's 30% chance. I, I don't get the flinch. It's Jirachi. Um I go for the Iron Head again because you know it's, it's what I have to do. Uh, and I do get that flinch this time, so I'm like, haha, Jirachi, you're losing to your own game now. So I'm going for the Iron Head again. Uh, that's a good damage, because I get a crit this time. I'm like, yes, Skarmory, you are just hacking out this Jirachi like you should. Um, I'm, I'm now at the point where I can just Iron Head and win. I don't even need to roost up. Uh, one more Iron Head should. Uh, two more Iron Heads will kill. I know Iron Head can't miss. I can't remember if I go for another roost or not here. I think I don't bother because... Oh, I do. Just play it safe. Because um, even if I do Iron Head and don't kill it, I still have my Entei with my Extreme Speed intact. And I'm Leftovers. So because of the Leftovers, I would have enough health to actually live the Stealth Rock switch in. And after this mini stall... I mean, it's not really a stall fest. It's just, you know, ensuring my survival, playing for Differential. I only get one flinch on this thing, which made me really sad because it's a Jirachi. And I would really have liked to have played Jirachi at its own game. But I can finally now go for Iron Head once again and kill Jirachi, and that is the game. So we do get the 2-0 win. Mega Sceptile doing the work again. Physically offensive. Sceptile just seems to catch opponents off guard. I'm not, I'm not sure why. It's so good, um, as I proved last week and again this week. So, great game. Uh, Phyllis Fero. So I don't actually know his real name. So it's, I, just, I feel a bit awkward when I don't know people's actual names, but... That was the game. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I hope you also enjoyed my new little intro I have at the front of my uh, League Battle videos anyway. Uh, make sure you leave some comments on what you thought about the sets and the games. Like if you did enjoy the video. And I will see you next week. I don't know who my opponent is. Do I have the spreadsheet open? I do not. So I can't tell you who I have. So I will see you guys next week for whoever I have. See you later. Bye.